Good day, everyone, and you are welcome to the Setra's Look family. I am Jaquette Tulu Ali Setra, and I'll always have my funny husband. This is Dial Setro, the most handsome, yekebu, Africanicious, adrenaline pumping, a physical power husband. We're always happy having you coming back, coming back every time to Setra's Look family. In case you're not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe and press the notification bell. I want to say thank you to all that have been liking, commenting, sharing, tweeting, retweeting. Please don't stop. A big thank you goes to all our patrons and supporters on this channel. You can actually be part of our patrons, you know, for as low as $3 per one. The link is in the description box below. Press on CC, meaning close caption for subtitling and... Today's vlog is an interesting one. It's one that we have passion for. It's one that we are living for. It's one that we are made for. It's not just one that uh, maybe we want to copy paste. No, this is our life. We're so happy introducing a wonderful lady to you. She's an orphan, lost her mom, lost her dad, and lost her mom, and nobody to care for them. But Fortunately, she got in contact with us and... I think what actually happened was that she lost her mom, her dad, her dad 2018. And uh, this year, she lost the mother. They were based in Lagos uh, before until a friend of mine reached out to me that, see what is happening to this family. This and this has happened. Now they are back to the village. And I was like... How can we be here? And this, these are just youth. And they are girls. They are back to the village to do what? The meaning of that, whenever anybody leaves the city in Africa, in Nigeria to be precise, and they are back to the village, the meaning of that is that their life has just taken a reverse. Because nobody, very soon, people will stop coming to say, ah, oh, sorry for your mom take this little amount, they will forget about them there. And those children will just be left to their own fate. But we are not going to allow that happen. And as a result of that, we've decided to help out. So we have decided to assist one of them that is interested in learning a craft that can start generating money for them. So we want you to listen to our words. Good day, my name is A.K. Esther C. I am from Imo State. I am an orphan. I lost my dad in the year 2018, 4th of April. And this year, I, st I just lost my mom in the month of August 7. My uncles and my aunties, none of them cares about I and my siblings. And I have passion for school, for sewing. I have passion for sewing. Please, I would really like people to support me financially so that I can actualize my dream. I was linked by Mr. Citro from Lagos, where we were staying before. We are now currently in the village. To you people, please. I really need your support and I promise that that if people if you people support me financially so that I'll be able to buy the materials and start up with it, support and take care of my siblings and I. I promise that I will also teach other people so that they can learn from me. As you do this for me. God will bless you. God will continue to enlarge your pockets. People will never lack. Thank you. Thank you. My name remains A.K. Estasi from Imo State. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. You've heard it all. You've seen the, the poor girl. Even when she wanted to be talking about the demise of her mom, you could see tears. And these are lives that they said nobody to help. So, we've decided to take this up just to train her. She'll be learning, and by the time she's serious, within the first three weeks, we've told her, when we see her seriousness, we're going to get her, her machines and necessary tools that she needs to be great. And I believe she's going to be great. This is what actually makes us happy, because when we see people whose life is like is going down the tunnel, 
it takes just six months to get them back. That is what we are living for. And in case you know any African youth anywhere, any country within Africa that is having a challenge, and such African youth is looking for how he or she can be helped to learn a skill, to learn a craft, all you just need to do is send a one-minute video to us explaining to us in real terms your calamity or your experience, your pain, your, 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 your trauma, whatever situation you have found yourself in, and you want to get out of it by what? By being empowered. And the CETRO's African Youth Development Strategy, we come in because we are here to help you. Here yeah, just to help you get out of that situation, become great, begin to make money, then help other African youths so that we will not have the situation that just occurred in Nigeria and is occurring in most African situations, countries whereby the youths are being used as talk to destabilize the economy so that we can all grow together. That is what life is meant for. Yeah. And if you are there, you are seeing anybody that is going through pain around you and you are feeling an unconcern, even if you don't have the money, you have this email. Help out. Reach out to them. Ask them what they want to learn. That there is a family that loves them on this channel. Thank you. And that's just it. That's the show today. It's an emotional one. It's one about bringing out lives from the rubbles. Yes, and making something great out of it. The next you're going to be seeing of this lady is that she's doing wonderfully well. I have my baby in the same Imo state. Imo state is eastern part of Nigeria yeah. in Africa. So we've gotten a baby there also that we've never seen physically. <laughs> <laughs> and she's already making money. So there are some other once and you know the good thing about this is that you just imagine in few months down the line we should have like hundreds or thousands of youths that we don't know from anywhere and their life has been helped and this let's assume they are just one thousand and they are coming out to help three other african youths that means we are going to have four thousand by the time the four thousand decides to help three other that's what twelve thousand before you know it twelve thousand times three again it's not even twelve thousand by the time the one thousand uh the four thousand decides to help three african youths one by one we are going to have what we'll call sixteen thousand so, because 13, uh, 12,000 plus the 4,000, that gives us 16. That is the multiply effect. We are economics. We are trained economics. Although we are not practicing economics, we are practicing with our head. We are, we are practicing fashion designing and this you are seeing. But do you, do you know, that's what, about, that's what we're talking about, African-centric system of education. Yeah. This is the African-centric system of education we are talking about, whereby our African youths are made to be the boss of their own selves they can create jobs and what they alleviate the situation the poverty situation in the continent the solution to africa lies in the hands of the african youth and until we forget about this stupid system of education of always finding the y the x <laughs> that will not put money into the hands of this youth we might just be planning a tsunami of Eswado. <laughs> you know, one thing, I was watching the TV the other day and I was so happy when I saw a, a young man, they said he's a fresh graduate of this institute. What's, what is that institute? It's an institute right here, in, I think it's in Nigeria, in Africa, whereby they are learning interior decoration, how to mix colors and how to mix that. And they said, once you start having your clients, this, that, I was fulfilled. I said, yes, this is African-centric. That is the system of education that we have to develop. Not the one that is for the Westerners. The Westerners, they have businesses that can provide white-collar jobs. But in Africa, we have to provide what we call the green-collar jobs. <laughs> and 
you started encouraging this youth by calling them the right names. They are graduates. They are fresh graduates. It's not that they say you are health educated. For example, my nine-year-old daughter is soon becoming a professor of decoratiologists. No, no. Everything you are seeing here, Let everything you are seeing, look at the, the wall frames and the like. You can see numerous of them. They have been produced by my nine-year-old daughter. Imagine that by the time... It's not only my nine-year-old daughter. Don't let there be trouble. No, no, no. no. Let's, my... let's finish with the nine-year-old daughter. You Imagine that by the time she gets to like 18 years, what she would have become in what beautification magnesento. <laughs> University. Apart from that, my five-year-old daughter happens to be interested in what? In catering, in baking. She wants to be more than Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. If you don't know Gordon Ramsay, Google him out. As in, and she has done a yummy, yummy pizza. Wow, we need to show them. <laughs> she has done a yummy pizza. Gay, encourage a five-year-old by watching this yummy pizza. Yummy pizza. Very but soon, we are going to be uploading a video that in which she prepared... A yummy pizza and your life will not remain the same again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what we're doing? We're catching our phone and we are helping African youths. We are helping, although they are our children, these are will loud the work of these are African youths too. You see, some of them are already doing great. We are showing them to you and you can start patronizing them. So patronize them, patronize my children to their part of African youths. Bring your children that are doing great. Let's yeah. talk about them. Mm -hmm. Let our children start making good money from this early childhood. It's life is all about look at the dropouts. They are the ones ruling the world. It's not those that they are paying those that came out of university. Do you know Uncle Billy, Mr. Cetro's clientele? They are the ones. So let these youths use their God-given talents, crafts to make us great once again. So catch you. That's just the Cetro's today. Please, in case you're watching this video, we want to hear from you in the comment section. Do you think this African-centric system of education is really worth it in Africa. I want you to comment in the comment section below. So with that being said, just look to your left and your right. Look for your spouse. Hug him or her 16 times per day. It's because what we call Roscoe Banga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In case you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Stop Shebe. Stop Shebe means don't do like that. Subscribe, subscribe and share our videos. Yes. Okay? Till we come your way next time, we remain the Cetrus. Catch you. Love you. Bye-bye. Do you like to watch? This video or this. Please bless. Bless. <laughs> if your mouth is you. Please. 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 My wife <laughs> has swallowed musculus. <laughs> if your mouth is you, me, Sherry. Me. <laughs>